Yo, what's going on guys, many here, and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. I'm sure you are over the moon to hear that. Happy New Year, it's the first time I could say that to you guys. But yeah, we had Christmas break, games cancelled, and that's why the vids have been missing. But we're back. Today we are looking for revenge. Last time we played Saha, it went down like this. safe to say their goalkeeper was on form and what a man of the match performance from him because if not for him I reckon we probably would have won that game. The lineup for this matchup is as followed we have John in goal, Inesh at right back, Harry and Reggie at centre back, Quam's left back, Eric, Marcel and Joseph return into the midfield, Sam Bailey on the right, Thomas through the middle and Eri on the left. On the bench we have Benny, Fred, Junior, Malachi, Myro and Sadiq. Morning boys! Morning. Morning. How are we feeling today? Good man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, my brothers and sisters in football. <laughs> I, honestly, I can't lie. For me personally, I think one, it's a blessing to be back because I, I genuinely have missed seeing Europe's face. And two, it's a lot of get back this half of the year. A lot of get back. Because we know within ourselves how we started is way below our standards. Way below our standards. And we don't need to badger you or batter you about what we what we expect, but you don't understand the fundamentals of UTR. You don't understand the nature of how we play everything to a T. So going so far away from it hurt me. I can't lie to you, it hurt me. And it made me think I wasn't doing the right thing. Poor tits right today. We've complained, we haven't played on 3G in ages. We're playing on 3G today, no complaints. We are decisive in both boxes. We do not take any risks today. Because we don't need to. We understand John's, John's, John's knees are a bit messed. His hips are a bit messed. Protect him at all, at all costs. And don't be second to anything. For me, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Our work rate from this, from today, to the 23rd of June, if that's our last day, is 100%. Any team outworks us, you lot are taking the absolute mick out of me. It's that simple. I don't care whether you're playing Saturdays, Tuesdays, or Sundays, I don't care. You're here today to play. And if you're here to play, you have to get up for it. It's that simple. Boys, 2024 is a new year, new beginnings. People have been asking me, ah, oh, I miss UTR. Where's UTR? Where's UTR? I was thinking, what are they missing though? Because we've been poor. Mm -hmm. And we know that on the pitch, off the pitch, we've been poor. Everything's just been flat. There's teams that aren't better than us that have been beating us. They've been coming and like, after it's, oh, where's the cameras? Where's the cameras? Put that on YouTube. Like, we can't allow that to keep happening. So when it comes to games like this especially, you know the kind of players that are on the other team. They like to play tidy, neat football. Don't let them play. Don't let them play. We let them play, they start enjoying it. That's how they start scoring goals. But we have to be on the front foot from the start. Let's be more aggressive. I think we've lacked aggression, we've lacked desire. I feel like even just we're five, sometimes ten yards off our men and it's just not good enough. And that's from all of us. So now it's a new year, like I said. So let's take advantage of that. It's a new start. Time to do things right. Yeah, we have to be better than we were last year. Last, at the moment right now, last season what we did, everyone's forgetting it because it looks like a fluke. Uh -huh. We look poor, so let's change that. When we get on the ball, let's let our creative players be special and do the extra things in the final third. In the middle of the pitch, don't do it. I'm not saying don't play. If we can play, let's play. But the extras, the flicks, the turns, let's do that in the final third. If we didn't wake up here to come and lose or play badly. No one wants to play badly. So if someone's having a stinker, get them on. Help them get to that next 50% that they need to match up to the rest of the team. Let's go. Okay, so we've made the trip to like near Croydon for this one. It's a bit of a far game for us, so we do not want to come this far and lose. Like I said before, we are looking for revenge. It's UTR in the red and black and uh, Saha in the navy blue and light blue colors. It's with the Saha goalkeeper. Like I said, man of the match performance, the time we played them before. Here's Yas, who also played quite well that game. Got two goals, one being a free kick. He's lost the ball to Eric here as uh, Eri takes over, goes to the ground and draws the foul. That free kick is going to be taken just inside the Saha half by Qualms into the keeper's hands. If we know one thing about them, they like to play nice, neat football. Uh, Harry with a good challenge in there, stumbles over his feet, loses it uh, to the 15. And then we've got this man, number 69, driving over the halfway line, plays it out wide to the eight. Uh, he's got a Nesh to beat. Inesh uh, trying to stop him from getting that route inside and they just weren't on the same wavelength. 
Both teams will be looking to strike the first blow. It's played into Marcel. He's uh, won the free kick. This is yet another bright player for them. They call him Diddy. He's got good feet. This time he's stopped by Eric. Eric knocks it around the corner to Thomas. Controls it. Back to Eric. Uh, takes it in a stride. Uh, gets past the 12. Eric into the box. Oh, goalkeeper to beat. And he saved it with the legs. Wasn't the best strike. And his pass here to Inesh was a bit loose. We'll just have to go and try and start again. Harry, I know he was thinking about that long switch pass. Uh, going to change his mind though. And he's going, gone, gone back to Reggie. Uh, Reggie space time to try and pick a pass. Plays it in behind. It's a great ball to Sam Bailey who can't take it down. Lovely play from Reggie. Unfortunate with the touch. Diddy, number 10. Reminds me a little bit of like Hazard, maybe Bernardo Silva, like a right-footed Bernardo Silva. Thinks it here for the 69 uh, to take over. Uh, nice feet from him. Back to Yas, thought about the shot, didn't go for it. Like I said, they like to play nice, neat football. They tried it again and stopped. It comes back to them still. Uh, a good position for them to be in. Still uh, under pressure here, UTR. 32, back to the 15, into the 12. Is that another 12 or is that 72? I'm not too sure. I think it might be 72. His pass slipped in behind, but John gets there. So far, Saha, the ones trying to find the bright ideas. Here is the 10, uh, into the 32. Ball in behind for the eight. That's a great run as well. John gets there first. He was lively to it. Comes to Marcel, stabs a pass towards Eri, short. Wins it back though. Can we get away out of this? Plays it to Thomas. Thomas up against the 12 now. Can he use his speed and strength up against the 12? He's shielded it very nicely. Uh, looking to get the ball away for Saha. He's shown too much to Thomas, who wins it back. He's one-on-one -on -one with the number four. Can he skip away from him? Thomas takes it on the other side, plays it back here to Marcel on the pass. Is short that time. Play moves on. Saha throw, just over 10 minutes played. It's played back to the 10. And he drags his shot wide. It's a warning shot. 15, away from the challenge from Joseph. The referee gives the advantage. Uh, 10 skips away from Harry. Goes for the shot and he's not playing around. He, any side of goal, he's going for it. It's 10 in possession for Saha. Harry steps in, uses his strength, eases him off the ball. Eri takes over, plays it to Joseph. Beats two Saha shirts to the ball, driving towards the box. Takes a left-footed shot and he's dragged it just wide of the target. It's good to see him back though. Zaha have a free kick midway through the UTR half. They've taken it quickly into the 72. Goes for the shot. John gets there and the four follows up. Been pulled back for offside. They disagree with that. I'm not sure. I couldn't remember on the day if it was offside or not. The linesman is going to um, be speaking to the referee here and we're going to see their final decision. It was a good play for them. Quick free kick, 72. And I think... He's gotten it right. The four is just in front of everyone there. Tapped it in. Good uh, <laughs> to try and get himself into the position, but it is going to be offside. Bit of uh, miscommunication there between Joseph and Harry. The pass goes through. Reggie got an, uh, a leg to it there. Comes down here to Thomas. Plays it through to Sam. That's a good line from the 14. He's offside. Zaha so have a free kick. Yes. Hits the face of Eric. That's got to be a sore one. That is the danger of standing in the wall, people. You must be a brave person to do that. Yes, stepped over it. And oh, that's directly in Eric's face. That's got to hurt. It's cold as well. It's very cold. Hopefully he gets back to his feet. Play resumes. Uh, 10 on it, the skipper. Joseph takes him off the ball. He's got the eight chasing him, got 32 chasing him, and also 69, but he beats all those numbers. Joseph's on 100 right now. Oh. Almost. Ooh, he's been clattered into about 14. That's definitely going to be a free kick. Well done to get us up the pitch, though, Joseph. Standing over that free kick is Inesh. Got a great delivery. Puts one into the box and um, goes behind, but there's an offside given. Almost 25 minutes being played. It's Yas takes it on the turn. And that is disgusting from Harry. Oh, my goodness. No wonder why he's just stopped and stood there, because what is that? Harry... I know you're my guy, but that is unacceptable. That is nasty play. And if I'm honest, that's a red card. That is a red card. Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comment section below. I don't know if the referee saw it or not, but that should be a red card. We're lucky. Very, very lucky. That's just intentional. It's got, he's gone to hurt him and that's just not good enough. And I, I don't back that at all. At all. Safe to say we have escaped with one there. A very big one. And uh, nothing comes from that free kick either. 69, uh, plays it into 15, 15, bit of space. That's a fantastic pass in behind for the seven. Seven up against Marcel, step over, jinx to the right, takes the shot and he's hit the post. The outside of it though, 
needed the inside. So back here with John. John plays it to Eric. Eric lets it run. Goes through to Joseph. Lovely play. We've got Eri on the left-hand side. Thomas making his way to the box. Eri up against number four. Cuts inside. Rushes the shot maybe. It comes off the 14 and luckily behind. That was a bit of tidy play there from Eric. John played it out to him. Little dummy. Gave Joseph the ball. Eri the space. And Eri was one-on-one. -on -one. Normally when he cuts in on that right foot, you know it's a goal. Not that time. A nice play. Corner to be taken. Sam Bailey, left footed in, swinging, uh, beaten away at the foot, uh, front post. Sam gets it back in there again, and 14 clears. Harry on the ball, uh, reverse pass into Thomas, good control. Round the corner to Eric, we've seen that before. Didn't come off. Diddy, the number 10, a man who's made things happen for them so far. Uh, jinx away from Eric, he does well. He's going in there against Harry, and he gets the free kick. Yeah, standing over the free kick. It looked like it was going wide, but it deflects off in Esh. They've taken the corner short. It's Yas on the ball. Sam Bailey clipping at his heels. It's definitely going to be a foul. A bit too eager there, Sam. And uh, <laughs> Yash gives him a little uh, a little shove there. It's always going to start a little something. Uh, Sam's not happy with it, but he's fouled him. Obviously, he's not going to be uh, happy with the foul, but all of a sudden, it might fly out of hand as well. Ten's coming with the push. And this always, there's no Sunday League game that I've seen over the past how many years that doesn't have a little bit of this. The handbags, the shoves, every single time. But Sam there with the first nick and the second one. Uh, thankfully, he didn't go for a third one. I was worried he'd go for a third there, but it's definitely a foul. And the words still continue in between them. We've committed far too many fouls, if I'm honest, this half. Another opportunity for Yas to get a ball into the box to the back post. Kwam just let it run. And I think that one's going to go out for a goal kick. Number eight with it on this left-hand side. Uh, Harry goes in there. Yas has left one in on him. And you could say he had it coming, for sure. He did a nasty one after. I don't even think this one's half as bad. He's rolling around. Uh, their sideline saying there's nothing wrong with that. If you give it, you must take it as well. And that's the rules. Not long till half time. Eri wins the ball, hits off Qualms. Marcel's in there. It comes back to Eri inside. He's got Joseph there. Joseph trying to wriggle away from a few shirts. He gets stopped there. Inesh with the ball on this near side, looking to deliver, gets it into the box. Thomas missed the head at the front post, comes here to Eri. Maybe he could have gone first time, drops it to Sam. It's a good block there from the four, comes back here to Thomas and he taps it into an empty net. But it's given as offside. What do you guys think, offside or not? Thomas has had a couple of goals ruled out so far this season and this is looking like another one. The linesman seems very sure. Let's take another glance at this. Sam there, is he on, it's hard because our angle's difficult, but it looks like he might just be on side, you know, might be, could go either way. Here it is, it's um, Yas on the ball, number 32, uh, looking to turn, hasn't got too many options, but he finds the 15, that's a great ball from the 15 into the 7, and John yet again is alive to it, the referee blows for the half-time whistle, it's been a decent game so far, I feel like Saha had the better of the first half, obviously we had the disallowed goal just at the end. I feel like Saha did a little bit more in and around the area, had more shots off and uh, we need to do a little bit uh, more ourselves if we want to get the lead and uh, get the first goal. Alright, honestly, yeah, if I'm being really, really honest, we started the game amazingly. We started playing, we wanted to get on the ball and then they had a five minute spell where they got into the game a little bit more and we started allowing them more time and space on the ball. The ball is here and we are dropping back, shuffling back, shuffling back. But all they're going to do is they've got, they've got great movers, amazing movers. So they're picking up little pockets in and around you. So if you shuffle off or if you are, are delayed a split second, they're going to pop it around you, bro. And I'll give them that respect because they've, they've done it a few times and they've got in. Our reaction and our nature of not stepping to win that ball is what's going to kill us right now. Because everything else we've been all right. That last five of the, of the half, again, we started playing again, started getting chances, had two or three chances where we could have scored, scored offside, it happens. What I'm not going to accept is if we are in, in and around our own box and we're standing off and they get another f shot at goal. I'm not going to accept that. Into the second half, we're going to make one change. Sadiq is going to take Eric's place after fears of concussion from that free kick that smacked his face. Uh, as uh, Saha get the half underway, it's going to be sprayed out here and Harry's gonna deal with the first ball. Drops down here, and Sam's gonna try and take over. Got two shirts to beat, runs it just out. Goes in field here. 
Quam's going to smack that up the pitch. Early doors, let's put it on them. I think the 12's dealt with it. Drops down here to Eri. Eri with the little Megs. Was it intentional? Yes or no? I don't know. It comes here to Sadiq. Sadiq, he's got a cannon of a left foot. Cuts it back into the box. Great area. Just behind everyone else. Was the run too fast? I don't know. Reggie plays it back into uh, the Saha half. It's dealt with by the 14 and it comes here to the number 8. He's got Yas in front of him. 69 in field and he's still going the number eight he's carried it a long way we've allowed him to go maybe too far he takes it to the byline it's a great ball across the box we've seen a few of those so far this half regardless that one was dealt with well by qualms their corner goes all the way to the far side yes trying to get something to happen there it's marcel plays it behind sadiq though and the move breaks down comes out wide here to the 69 plays the ball through and john yet again alive harry uh, switches the play. That's a beautiful pass. Way, way better than that tackle. I tell you that. It's a ball into Eri. Eri gets in front of the four. He goes to ground. The referee's got one decision to make. He points to the spot. And that is going to be a penalty. It was Harry's pass. A great, great ball. Eri made the run, timed it perfectly. Got the first touch. Gets in front of the defender. Brings him down. And there's always only going to be one decision. A chance to make it advantage UTR. Joseph standing over the ball. Left foot steps up and sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Joseph gives UTR the lead. He's back in the team and back on the score sheet. 1-0. We'll take that. And we needed it. Trust me. It's a good start to the half for us. A big kick up the pitch from Saha. A lovely touch there from Harry. Uh, Reggie looks out wide and he sprays it here for Eri. We know it's worked once already. Can it work again? Eri up against the number four. He knows that he can draw a foul against him. And guess what? He's going to do just that. Buys it. Absolutely buys it. Sam on the free kick. Left foot delivery. Curls it into the box. It's a great ball. Comes to the back post to Harry. And he's earned us a corner. Standing over that corner is Sam. Takes it quickly to Sadiq. Great touch. Skips the 72. Puts it across the box, but he can't keep it in play. I think it went out for a goal kick. The ball's in the air. Uh, jumping there is the 15. Sadiq gets to the second ball. Eri uh, sees Sadiq's run. Uh, can he find a way to go? Still got uh, the ball for us. Plays it back out here to Eri. Eri up against the number eight. Can he size him up, beat him, and get the ball into the box? Tries to go through the gap. He's blocked by the two players. Harry. Uh, stepping in over the halfway line plays a nice ball through to Thomas there Thomas to Sadiq Sadiq neat, neat turn and plays it out here to Sam Sam's got Inesh on the overlap Sam looks to cut inside on that favoured left foot goes for it and it's not too far over the bar trouble for them an important part of their team their goalkeeper seems to be feeling something free kick for Saha um, midway through their half it's a ball curled round the corner and that's a great ball from the uh, centre back there it's Yas up against uh, Inesh Couple of step overs, looks to cut inside. Good block, Inesh. And Sam clears it up the pitch. Uh, can Sadiq make something of it here? 15 got a touch to it. Sadiq's got that pace to burn up against the 12. Brilliant challenge. Sadiq gets back to his feet, uh, keeps going. We wanted maybe something there. The referee said he got the ball, and I think he was right. To throw him for UTR. Inesh. Uh, Thomas flicks it on. Sadiq can't get the second ball. It goes back here to Sadiq, though. Able to turn. And can he find a pass out wide? He does. Junior, fresh on the pitch now. Came on in place of Eri. Uh, Junior cuts it back. And it's blocked. Here we go. It's Marcel uh, to Joseph. Joseph to Thomas. Thomas has Sadiq there. Gets the pass wrong. 14. Hasn't really put too much of a foot wrong at the back there. Number eight. Trying to get rid of it. Thomas fouls him. Easy decision. It's a bouncing ball. Inesh up against the number six. Who's uh, a substitute for them. Six looking to beat Inesh. He's got Harry to beat as well if he gets past him. Uh, showing some tidy feet there. Inesh tries to swipe it. He's missed it. Six puts a ball into the box. Comes here to the 69. Takes two touches. And Quams brings him down. Quams has tried to connect with the ball whilst it's in the air. Missed the ball. Gone into the man. Is this a penalty? I think it's a little bit soft. It's a little bit. I don't think I would get that personally. But the referee's made his decision. And I think it's one of those that you can't really argue because the contact's there. But here it is, number 10 steps up and calmly places it into the bottom corner. That is 1-1 and game on, definitely. The three points on the line, calm and collected from their man there.
What do you guys think though? Let me know. Was it a penalty or not? Was it soft but a pen? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Referees, always like to hear your thoughts as well. Let me know. So then, just over 20 minutes to be played. Mis uh, miscommunication between the two Saha players gives Sadiq the chance to burst down the right hand side. Sadiq cuts it into the box, deflected. Uh, keeper grabs it. It's in our box with John. Uh, launches one up the field for Junior to maybe bring down. Fails to do so. First time, 12 comes across. Eight uh, has the ball nicked off his toes by Thomas. He's got neat, tidy feet. He's got the eight stumbling. Plays it back into the box. Dangerous area. Into Sadiq, and the goalkeeper can't stop it. He struck it well. It's 2-1 to UTR and we've regained our lead. It didn't take too long for that. Lovely from Thomas not to give that up. Took it off the number eight. Straight off his toes. Good tight dribbling. Plays it into a great area. Sadiq shot and I think the only reason the goalkeeper didn't save that because he saw it late. But well done Sadiq. 2-1. Substitution. Sam's going to make his way off the pitch and uh, Myro is going to take his place. It's uh, out wide here to Inesh, plays it to Myro. He sends uh, the 14 to the App Store to get the one-up training app. It's out now, lifetime access, go get it. It's Myro, into Junior, Junior, onto Thomas, and Thomas on the swivel. Makes it 3-1 to UTR, but guess what? Yet again, it's pulled back for an offside. Let's take a closer look at this one. Myro's ball into the box, Junior there, and if you look at the guy next to Myro, that is definitely onside to Thomas has been robbed of yet another goal this season. That would have been the cushion that we needed. It's uh, Yas number 32 and to Diddy number 10. Tries to return it, Reggie's in the way. That's good from Reggie, but he's brought it back for a foul, the referee. Not for the first time this game, Yas goes straight into the wall. Uh, can they keep it alive here? It's got the number three with him. Ooh, nice little bit of skill between those two. I'm not sure what happened there. He goes to ground, he's looking for a penalty and uh, nothing given. Another sub for UTR, Thomas who got the assist for the second goal, he's been robbed of a couple maybe this game, uh, Benny takes his place. We also have an unhappy Joseph, no one likes being subbed really, uh, Malachi takes his place but Joseph has done his bit so far. So throw into play, Benny brings it down, Benny thinking about the shot, he goes for it, it's blocked, oh nice to get through that gap, the two players there, back here to Junior. Uh, Junior sizing up the seven, plays it back here to Benny, takes one touch, takes the shot early and sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. The goalkeeper was already going to his left and Benny brought the shot back to his right and makes it 3-1. Surely that is the game. He's been on the pitch for a matter of minutes and he's had an instant impact. That's a great little finish. Junior did well to be decisive, kite back, found a pass, Benny took a touch, steadied himself and uh, placed it past the goalkeeper. It's a lovely finish. Not sure about the celebration. We'll be looking to finish off the three points. Fred takes Marcel's place on the pitch. Number 69. Uh, I think he's had a decent game. He showed good, good footwork. He's worked hard as well. Just hasn't come off for him at times. Just like there, as Quams gets a toe in. Saha corner. 69 takes it. Poor delivery, but he swiped it. Missed it. What a save from John in goal. That is why they call him Big John. I promise you, for no other reason. I don't know, actually, to be fair. <laughs> but there we go. John, what a save. 69 with the ball into the box. Quams misses it, comes to the 12. What a reaction save from John to keep it at 3-1. It's um, Malachi on the ball. Uh, plays the ball in behind for Junior. Junior. Uh, one and one, beats the five. Junior tries to go around the goalkeeper. Uh, 14 gets there, comes back to Benny, tries to place it like Thierry Henry. Thierry on no. So, played here to number six. Number six up against Reggie, little step over. Another step over, beats Reggie, goes for goal, and it wasn't far off. It's almost time there. It's a ball uh, loose by the 69, that's tired legs. Qualms his first to it, plays it through to Sadiq. Sadiq one and one with the goalkeeper, is far off his line. Sadiq goes for the dink, and it goes over the bar. He can't believe it. 
There it is though, 3-1, the final scoreline. We needed those points. We've lost a few cup games. We have to make sure we do better in the league. But um, that is it, Saha, we got our revenge. Uh, good luck to them for the rest of the season. I'm not sure if we'll play them in anything else, but a good team, they like to play nice football and a bunch of good guys as well. So all the best to them. That is it for this week's Sunday League. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, keep coming back for more. You know where we are most Sundays if games don't get cancelled. Make sure to follow all our socials. The link should be down in the description below under the Radar FC on most things, TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitter as well. Yeah, you can catch us there. But other than that from me, until next time, guys, I'll catch you soon. Peace.